Hi, welcome to this Qtile system. It's a tiling window manager and it means that you stop using, stop dragging windows around and doesn't really have a border or anything like it. So super shift return gives us a um, application which is called Tunar, which is your file manager, which could have been Nemo, could have been Nautilus, could have been Dolphin or anything like it. So any file manager is, is uh, really a choice that you have to make and when you press super return, for instance, you'll get uh, this thing. So it's gonna tile everything and we need, well, we need, we wanted a nice little gap in between it. So we do see a wallpaper that's behind it. So the tiling is, is happening automatically. We don't do anything about it. It's um, uh, tiled for us automatically. With a super Q, we can kill an application as long as this is active it means this uh, blue line let's do that again it changes from line from color and meaning if I press super Q the right will be killed and the left stays and like that everything is gone so that's the tiling window manager and you have your workspaces up here and everything is just available 10 workspaces are there and this is the way it's gonna look monad tall so it's just a name, we're still on Qtile <laughs> for sure. It's just a name that's there for to explain how it is gonna look like super return. If we do keep pressing this, this is what they call Mona Tall. This is the tall one, okay? So let's go over some of these um, shortcuts because the Conkey is there just for you to, to help you because in the first hours or minutes you say, hey, how? Do I need to do this and how can I launch an application and how can I quit and how can I do etc so the thing is um, let's start with the, the top one up, up here is the starting stuff so super shift D is actually the D menu which is uh, more or less well often used in i3 and we do use it there as well and i3 actually travels with us in different tiling window managers it's pretty easy to set up it's nice and you just say super shift d and you start typing oh, i'd like to have firefox you just enter and firefox is launched super q is also a button that these days will work as well but let it wait a little bit because it's loading all 18 tabs or more i don't know the thing is um alt f2 is another one so if you still say no i want to run a program the other way then this will work as well press escape to get out of it. Alt F3 is there since lots of uh, applications, uh, XFC applications are there. Why not include this little thing? Uh, because sometimes you get this idea. I want to run that application, but you can't recall the name, but you do really know uh, you can find your way around in a menu. So this is your way to say, oh yeah, that's the application I wanted to run, right? so you can launch it that way so that's another way to launch another way is a super f11 which is the big one and we have simple screen recorder in sync and telegram that i launched earlier on so it's at the top and all the rest is, is just well remember again so this caca fire thing is always a fun thing to launch but there you go you have this um, application that you can launch that way there's also Super F12, which is a little bit smaller. So this is Rofi menu. You can theme the Rofi menu and all that, but it's um, just a menu. That's what it's for. And um, so that's all about how to launch things. And in the meantime, we've seen how to quit things as well. Super Shift Q and Super Q. Now, if we want to have a terminal, there's Super Enter. There's also Control Alt T and there is Super T. So there's enough things to launch a terminal because, well, basically it's essential. Super Shift Enter is our Tunar file manager. That's the one we chose since lots of uh, our Lego blocks are from XFC, uh, like um, like any like power managers and, and stuff like that. It's very easy to combine them with tiling window managers. Ctrl Alt V is Vivaldi, but there is no explanation about Ctrl Alt F, which is Firefox, and there is no explanation about Ctrl Alt G. I mean by that that there is nothing in here. So there 
are more keyboard shortcuts than we provide in this little conky. So super F2, if there's an F2 working, there's probably an F1 working, etc., etc. So all 10 have been assigned. Super F6 is our media player, which just plays everything. That's how we like it, no frustrations. And then we're coming to something special, something specific, Qtile. When we're pressing super return, 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 and we are going to use this new keyboard shortcut, watch out for the name Monad Tall. So this is a tall one and all small guys. So when I press super and then spacebar, this is gonna change in Monad Wide. So this is a wide version. And this is the matrix version, exactly the same. This is BSP and then this is going to be floating, meaning you can drag it around and put it somewhere else. And then we have also this one, which is the maximum, like so. And back to square one. Now we have still the floating up here. So I'm gonna press super shift R, which is going to rearrange everything back the way it was. So this uh, keyboard shortcut that I just tried out, Super Shift R is uh, jumping at, to the bottom here, which is the most important thing. If something goes, well, is strange or an image is not good or something is not reloaded or anything is, is out of the ordinary, then you say Super Shift R. So you reload your Qtile system completely. And you just saw quickly that I'm recording on tab one or on workspace one. So um, this one is done, Control shift escape Control shift escape is what we use in a other specific system as well to launch and find our task manager. So we'll have this keyboard shortcut around. So it's, it's finger memory that we have. That's as simple as that. Super Q, you're out. Control Alt U is the first thing I should remember. I often do not remember it. But when I'm making a clean install, I should change my root NT USB to from, I think it's somewhere here to here. So when I forget, the video sound is very, very low, but you need to remember, all right, to set it and click here, not click here. Well, not use this one, not use that one. And the output devices is not my microphone, but my HyperX virtual surrounds analog stereo headphone. So this setting is, is our necessary. So Control Alt U is um, great that we have it. Print screen is like always a screenshot. There is also Control Print Screen and Control Shift Print Screen. And there is this Super Shift R we've just explained. This one is a very dangerous one. I just had to remake my video because Super Shift X is stop Qtile, meaning stop recording, stop everything, everything that's not saved is gone. So this is an, a harsh exit. A stop application, we've seen that, so Super Shift Q or Q, so I mean Super Q, that will stop the application. And this is still a nicer one, so I'm definitely not gonna learn this one. I'm gonna learn this one. Super X is just giving you the choice what you want to do, log out, restart, shut down, suspend, lock, etc. So that's what's in our other distros, other desktops as well. So that's um, what, we've, what we provide you at the first hour of need. This is the conkey or the keyboard, uh, keyboard shortcuts for you to use. In our next video, we're gonna talk about where are these keyboard shortcuts, can I change them, etc. And are there more keyboard shortcuts? So we're gonna have a look at uh, Qtile configuration itself. All right.